Authorities in McDowell County say he may have played a role in the death of an elderly woman over the weekend. Today we spoke with the woman's son who found his mother on her deck after several hours in intense summer heat. She came out here onto the porch to look at the flowers, the uh, the tomatoes, the garden up here. Her garden drew her outside, out of the AC and into the heat. It was a daily routine for Alan Burleson, 73-year-old mother, Peggy Soup. Just to have something to do. But the above normal temperatures in Nebo mixed with her daily dose of medication proved a deadly combination. It was Alan who found his mom dressed in a sweatsuit and unresponsive. And I saw her laying on the uh, porch. And I, you know, threw just about everything down. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until they got there and hooked the machine stuff up to her EKJ and all that sort of stuff that I finally really come to the realization that she, uh, uh, that she was dead. She passed away. Call similar to the one Allen made Saturday came in all weekend long at the McDowell County EMS, many due to the heat. We saw a large number of our patients or the heat affect the elderly as well as the pediatric population. Investigators say Burleson died from natural causes, but the heat may have played a factor in her death. It was hot on Saturday. Uh, somebody with pre-existing conditions, you know, the heat, you know, may affect them differently than it would a healthy person. You always wonder if, what if I were there, would this have happened or anything? But you can't always be there. So as this family says goodbye, they warn others to keep a close eye on the ones they love. The only thing that, that I can say is you need to be a little bit more alert. And officials say always check on elderly neighbors during hot summer days. They also recommend those susceptible to heat to stay indoors, that is, if you have AC, or else go somewhere that does. That's